All right, so hello, hello, my name is Shobariel, and I'm, I'm making this video for myself. Let me tell you why. I am, hold on, hold on, wait for it. Okay, okay, that's as good as gonna get. I am a queen. I told you I'm making this video for myself, but I'll post it. As self-motivation for me, because I need to remind myself more of why I'm amazing. So, I am a queen, why? Because it's not so much about the lavishry or the lavish lifestyle. It's about taking stripes. And when I say stripes, I mean, when I say stripes, I'm talking about when you've gone through some events in life or you've endured some storms. Stripes, stripes. They're like marks on a person after they've gone through something. And you're, and although you're happy that you've gone through something, you have that stripe to remind you of that moment just in case you need to ref, ref, reflect back on it for strength in your future. I have had stripes and I've overcome some obstacles. And that is why I am a queen. Let me tell you, being a woman as a breadwinner is not viewed how I expected. And let me tell you this. Let me explain. When I hear a woman as a breadwinner, you think of masculinity or the depiction society gives is masculinity. But I'm still a woman. I may have, and any woman may have some masculine ways, just like being a man in his masculinity may have some feminine ways, but you are still a man and I am still a woman. I just have some masculine traits. And as a man, some men can have some feminine traits. That doesn't mean there's anything wrong with us. It just means we're human. And so being a woman, I am a breadwinner. And the way in the term that I hear a woman being a breadwinner is that of masculinity. And it is almost feels like that's a bad thing. Now, I know we talk about, you know, women entre entrepreneurship and, and things of that nature, you know, but when you when you start talking about a woman being a breadwinner, it almost feels like you're stripping her of her ability to provide to say that she is attempting to take the place of a man. And that's not true. And so being a breadwinner, I do what I need to to provide. I'm a provider, obviously. I'm a breadwinner and I'm responsible. And with that, I found great strength in that because I know that I can depend on myself to get the job done. And although I'm not married, I am independent responsibly. And so with that, 
I heard I heard some men say that they find that intimidating. And it's just like, why would you find that intimidating for a woman who can care for herself? But I know for men, men want to feel needed. And a lot of the times they want to feel needed. Well, I won't say that. Men just want to feel needed, just like women want to feel needed. I know for some men, not all, some men want to feel needed financially. And so when a, when a woman isn't working or she relies on that man to provide for the household, it really makes him feel good, you know, that he's doing what he wants to do, go hunt, bring the food back to home. And, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. But when you start mentioning that that could be a fear factor for certain men to say, look, I like this woman, but man, she carrying her own. You know, where do I fit in at? And it's just like, you can fit in. You can still fit in. You can still fit in. You know, you just, the roles are different because she's, she's, she has learned to provide for herself. And if she has children, well, she has learned to provide for herself and her children, you know? So let me tell you why. Being a woman as a breadwinner, oh, it's amazing. You know, it is amazing. Would I, would I have chosen this route to do solely by myself as a parent who is single? No, because there's too many tasks to tackle and it's just me. But let me tell you why I'm a queen. Because I tackle that, I balance that. And I put my effort into it a hundred and fifty percent to then have to turn around and get a break. Now, sometimes I don't get a break, but I know in my mind to come back to it and to get a break. A break is a mandatory. It could be break or breaks, but it's mandatory. And so with that, a person doesn't see like if you're a single parent or if you're a parent that's single what you go through on a daily basis so when you want to get up and go somewhere you got to take the children with you if you want to go out on a date night you know you're not going to necessarily be able to do that one because it's hard to find a reliable babysitter unless you have a lot of family members in your family who can babysit safely you know that with younger children, it can be it can be a rough a rough time because all you hear is feet walking right behind you everywhere you go in the house. Two, you know because this is a child, that child is going to be asking you a thousands and thousands of questions throughout the day as they continue to grow while they're in their while they're transitioning from their toddler stage to their little kid stage. And you know, although you're tired and, and you just came off of a 12 hour shift at work or a 10 hour shift at work or an eight hour shift at work or however many hours you work, whether it's a six hour shift and you dealt with people you don't wanna even be acquainted with, you know that coming home to, 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 to your children to say, hey, look, mommy, you wanna play, let's play. Or daddy, you wanna play, let's play. is not always the ideal scenario for you getting off of work. But you know you have to because you know this is your child and the child will be a child. And so, and you know, sometimes you just like, well, baby, let's play another day because mommy is, is mommy needs a nap or daddy needs a nap or something like that. You know, as a parent that's single, you take on the other parent's responsibilities and help so their physical their i mean you can never you can never be in two places at the same time you have this one body and but you're 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 balancing you're wanting to balance okay finances okay 
they not give me child support. So now I got to carry that, you know, and this child needs things. This child needs shoes. This child needs socks. This child needs school clothes. This child needs pampers. This child needs formula. This child needs curriculum books for school. This child needs to be in an activity to, to, to see what their gifts are, whether it's being in a science fair or being in engineering or being in a computer class because they like technology or being in soccer because they like a sport or whatever the case is, being in ballet, being a gymnastics, being a swimmer, whatever it is that they're good at, you're just wanting to find an activity that's good for them. So you carry on all of this weight from the second parent not being there and you're making it work and I'm making it work. So, and I used to think like that didn't matter until I started realizing, <laughs> Javaria, cheer for yourself. Okay, you're doing an amazing job. The best I've ever seen, okay? You do the best ever seen. Okay, you provide, I provide, I protect, okay? I know how to fix a little something around here, okay? If I need to put up a shelf, no, I'm not calling my dad. I can do that. Why? Because I recognize as a woman that's single, I'm going to need to do some fixer uppers. So I got my own tool set. Okay, because I'm not going to walk around here like I don't know how to do anything. Okay, no offense to any woman who walks around like that, but I'm just saying I'm not doing it because I don't want to wait for somebody else to do something I can learn myself. So I can fix things, I can change light bulbs, uh, I take out the trash, uh, I know how to change the the I, I was gonna say something but i don't want it to go wrong anyway i know that how to fix my child's toys i know how to uh do some plumbing work you know I, of course if it's too deep i'm just like no i'll just call somebody you know but i know how to change my filters and all that stuff so we good to go i know i clean i iron I cook, I read books, I spend time, quality time with my child and myself sometimes, you know, and I go to work and it'd be sometimes, and that's the thing, being a queen, hmm, when you are not feeling well, hmm, you still have to show up. You still have to show up. So if you're a guy and you're a king, you still got to show up. Even when you don't want to, even when you don't feel like it, even when you just like, man, this again. <sighs> All right, I'm here. You know, so... I look at all of these things and the reason why I'm just saying that is because this is really important how you see yourself. And I've gotten to that point to where I'm just like, man, I'm amazing. I'm amazing. You would have thought I had eight arms for the stuff that I do on a daily basis. Okay. And I'm not taking that from myself. I'm giving myself props and praise for the things that I do. Why? Because I need it. And another thing is because people around me think so negative. I'm depending on this. I'm depending on me, okay? I'm depending on me to be well and to be good and to be healthy. And I'm depending on me to continue moving forward. So that's why I say this. And you know what? Man, I keep a smile on my face. And don't get it twisted. Please don't. Don't get it twisted. I have my limits. It's not all smiles. 
I said, I, I always, now I say I always keep a smile on my face, but it's not always a smile. You know, when you get to business and you know you're walking into savagery, I can match that, you know? Because then, you know, it's business. And you know business don't care. Business is going to operate how it operates. And so you got to be ready. And you got to be prepared. So, and man, I was just thinking about all these things. Like, man, I'm I'm a true queen. I don't take that from myself. I I I I really do like appreciate where I am and the steps taken to get me where I am. Now, of course, with any mistake of any person you just man like you just think like man i just i wish i wouldn't have done it you know but there's no way for you to go back you just move forward and as long as you're moving forward in a good way then you got back up you know it's not necessary it's not necessarily about the fall it's what you do after the fall do you get back up or do you just sit on the ground and so i man i'm i'm telling you I am amazing. I am amazing. I am a queen. Not because of what I succeed, but because of what I secure. Cause you you a person can succeed. That doesn't mean it's secured. To secure is to have stability. And stability is a necessity. And when you have stability, that means you're constantly adapting, evolving, adjusting when you need to, to be able to maintain security and to secure what you need to secure to be successful. And so I was thinking about that today and I was like, wow, you know, I'm amazing. Don't get it twisted. Whether you're a queen or a king, that title don't come lightly. And it comes with pain. What that, what that guy say in that movie with all the cars? I know what it is, but I'm gonna hope you figure it out. In that movie, all the cards, it's one of my favorite movies. I know the movie title, but he said, no sacrifice, no victory. It's gonna cost you something. And man, it didn't cost me something. And I'm here moving forward and just bettering myself. So that's why I'm amazing. Boy, let me tell you, <laughs> if a person would have just, you know, just been like, no, I'm not dealing with all that. <laughs> Peace. You know, a person would, but I mean, our journeys are different. And I say that's because what you put up with, somebody else won't put up with. And just because you succeeded through this doesn't mean the next person was going to succeed through it. That's why it's important not to compare our lives to each other and not to walk in nobody else's shoes because you don't know what that person went through to get to where they are. And so, woo. To say that I'm 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 positive, like my energy just radiates, just just oh, just royalty and just humble and just positive. I don't like talking about negative stuff like that. It's too draining, and quite frankly, like I like I've always said, save the drama, not for your mama. Because I'm a mama, so don't give me that drama, okay? 
but say the drama for the movies, okay? We don't need that in real life. There's too much stuff happening in real life for it to be real life. Keep the drama for the movies, okay? And leave me alone. So, so, whew, yes. So I give that to myself. And if you benefit from it, then you, then you benefit from it too. You know, check out the list. You'd be like, girl, remember when that when that client cussed you out? Girl, you held your composure and you told them like Claire Huxable would have told her children. Now listen, you will not speak to me that way. And if you want my help, then you ask. Other than that, are we done here? Okay. You can tell somebody off without cussing them out. You can tell some, oh yes, yes you can. Cause you know why Jesus does it in the Bible so many times. Have me cringing like, man, that, that, that cut. Jesus don't play, Lord Jesus don't play y'all. So, but yeah. And if you a guy and you just check me off the list, like, oh man, let me tell you. At the park earlier, I, oh. Uh-uh. At the park earlier, I saw this African American guy, and I say I say African American a lot because I'm I could say black, you know, just get it over with. Just say black, but I'm using African American. But I saw this African American man and he had like five kids, five babies. I and they were so beautiful. And it was like girls and boys, and there was like five of them. And I was like, this man coming to this park with, uh, I think they his, you know. And so I'm like, man, I ain't never seen that before. I wanted to walk up on dude, like, like these your kids, like, you know. I, I, it's, I'm just asking because I've never seen anything like this, like without the mother, because you know, with that many kids, you would expect to see the mama around. No, it was just him and the kids, and dude was like young, you know, and so. I was like, man, this is so beautiful. Like, because I like to see a man with his kids is so amazing. Like for the men that like you let your wife or the mother just like give some rest and you carry the baby in the baby carrier or you or the man pushes the stroller or the man jogs with the stroller or the man is taking the kids to the park. Like, seriously, appreciate that man if he's doing it right because, you know, there's some men that do that that ain't right. So I'm not speaking to those men, but if you a healthy man and you, you know, funny business going on, you you are being a good dad to your children and you doing that, hey, you get an applause from me because I ain't seen that before, especially with five kids. He had five, and these children were like eight six and under so they were babies and I was like no okay okay we'll say seven seven years and younger and I was like whoa this dude he doing it okay he wow that's amazing to see I love to see that so you know check that off your list be like man I take my kids <laughs> If you got kids, man, I, I'm a good dad. I take my kids out. We go to adventures. We do pizza Fridays or we do spaghetti Saturdays. You know, I cook, you know, whatever. Or if you're a bachelor, you know, uh, I pay my rent on time. Or, you know, I got my Mercedes Benz payment right on time this month, you know, or Hey, you started golfing with one of your coworkers and now your coworkers then introduce you to a client that's gonna be good for getting you into higher positions or or maybe start your own business and you can connect with that that client because you know he got connections or she got connections or whatever the case may be. You check that off your list. Like, yeah, I know, I know how to be personable with people. Yeah, dude, because you know, anytime I go to the gym. Is somebody there that I'm always communicating with or talking to? You know, I'm a people person. You know, check that off. You know? So do you. Be you. Okay? And celebrate you because nobody's going to celebrate you like you celebrate you. Okay? So 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Just being silly. But anyway, y'all have a good night. And.